So this is the video you've been waiting for. How does one increase their telomere length and live longer? All right, so let me just give you a little background first, okay? In your cells, you have the center part, which is the nuclei, okay? Inside the nucleus, you have your DNA, and that DNA is bundled within structures called chromosomes. And the chromosomes carry the genetic information in the form of genes. All right, so what is a telomere? The Greek word for telomere is broken down into two parts. We have telos, which means end, and meros, which means part. It's the end part. If we take a look at a shoestring, that's what a telomere is. It's a little plastic protective mechanism at the end of your chromosome. Because the shorter it gets, the faster you age and the more diseases you get. Um, as our cells divide, our chromosomes need to replicate because we need this complete set. And every time they replicate or divide, these telomeres get shorter and shorter and shorter. And many scientists claim that the shorter the telomeres, the faster you age and develop more diseases. But there are epigenetic factors that can help you and even hurt you. Now, epigenetics is about what's above genes, what controls your genetics, because you're not limited to your genes. There are environmental things, there's foods, there's herbs, there's things that you can do and avoid that can greatly affect your telomeres and your age. All right, are you ready? Okay, here are the things that hurt your telomeres for diet. And I'm talking about sugar, refined foods, etc. Obesity, surprise. Lack of exercise, lack of sleep, stress, smoking, alcohol, and pollution. You probably know of people that actually fit every single one of those things, and usually they don't live too long. So now what are the epigenetic factors that help increase the telomere length? Omega-3 fatty acids. There's an interesting video that I did on omega-3 fatty acids that reveals some data in a study that shows that you can extend your life by five years by consuming regular foods that are high in omega-3 fatty acids. That's the fatty fish, like the salmon, the cod liver oil, it's the sardines. All right, number two, astragalus. This is an adrenal adaptogen, something that helps you counter stress. Next one, gutacola. I did a video on this, I'll put a link down below. All right, next one is green tea. Now green tea is good for just about everything. Next one, curcumin. Then we get vitamin D, which is good for about everything as well. And foods that are high in zinc, oysters, clams, shellfish. And then we get exercise, regular, consistent exercise, of course, with good recovery, right? That includes the next one, sleep. If you have chronic insomnia, that is a huge thing that can hurt you with these telomeres. Okay, keep your stress on the low side. And last one is something that's probably going to really surprise you, consuming a healthy diet. And if you're new to my channel, I put the link down below of exactly what I'm talking about when I say healthy diet. All right. Thanks for watching. Hey, before you go, if you're benefiting from any of my content, I would love to hear about your success story. Please share it in the link down below.